Hello Java students. In this video, we are going to continue with the previous topic that is Java programming with AWT Abstract Window Toolkit. I recommend to watch first my previous video before starting on this video. Let's start how to display images in the frame. We can display .gif, .jpg images in the frames. How to display? First we need to load image into image class object using get image method of toolkit class as image img object equals toolkit dot get default toolkit dot get image and parameter computer dot gif. Here toolkit dot get default toolkit method creates a default toolkit class object. Using this object we call get image method and this method loads the image computer dot gif into img object. Loading image into img will take time. We should make wait to the JVM wait till image is completely loaded into img object. For this purpose we need media tracker class. Add the image to the media tracker class and allot an identification number to it starting from 0, 01 to continue. As media tracker track equal new media tracker parameter this. Then track dot add image in that parameter img object comma 0. 0 is the id number of this image. Now media tracker keep JVM waiting till the image is loaded completely as track dot wait for id parameter is 0. Once the image is loaded and available in img then we can display the image using draw image method of graphic class as g dot draw image parameters are img 150 150 that is coordinates 200 200 that represents width and height and null. That represents image observer object which is useful to store history of how the image is loaded into the object. Next is push button. Button is a control component that has a label and generates an event when pressed. When button is pressed and released, AWT sends an instance of action event to the button. To create a push button, first we can create an object to the button class as Construct if we want to construct a button with an empty string for its label then button no parameters. If we want to construct a new button with a specified label then button with a parameter string text. And some of the methods are to get the label of the button we can write b dot get label method. To set the label of the button we can write b dot set label. Please note that if an application want to perform some action based on the button being pressed and released then it should implement action listener and register the new listener to the receive event from this button. By calling the button add action listener method we can write b dot add action listener in parameter action listener. What is checkboxes? Checkbox control is used to turn an option on or false. There is a label of each checkbox representing what the checkbox does. The state of the checkbox can be changed by clicking on it. Constructors for checkboxes are first is checkbox cb equal new checkbox. In this we create a checkbox with an empty string for its label. Next is checkbox cb equal new checkbox. In that parameter is label. Here we can create a checkbox with the specified label. And the third way checkbox cb equal new checkbox and parameter are label and state. It means if state is true then the checkbox appears as if it is selected by default else not selected. Some of the methods are to get the state for a checkbox we can write cb.getState. If we want to set the state of the checkbox, we can write cb.setState parameter true. If we want to get the label of the checkbox, we can write cb.getLabel. Here cv is the object of checkbox. Next is radio button. A radio button represents a round shape button such that only one can be selected from a group of buttons. To create a radio button, pass checkbox group object to checkbox class object as checkbox group cg equal new checkbox group then checkbox cb equal new checkbox parameter label 
CG and state. If state is true, radio button appears to be already selected by default. If state is false, radio button appears normal as if it is not selected. And there are some methods for radio button. If we want to know which radio button is selected by the user, we can write checkbox cb equals cg dot get selected checkbox. If we want to know the selected radio button label, then we can write string label equals cg dot get selected checkbox dot get label. Next is text field. A text field component represents a long rectangular box where the user can edit or type a single line of a text. Here the constructors to create a text field are text field tf equal new text field. In this we can create a blank text field. Another constructor is text field tf equal new text field parameter is 35. Here we can write 35 characters width of the text field. And the third one text field tf equal new text field and parameters are default text comma 35. In this we can write default text is displayed with 35 characters width and some of the methods are to retrieve the text from the text field we can write string str equal tf dot get text if we want to set the text of a text field we can write tf dot set text and parameter is text whatever we want to set another method is to hide the text being typed into the text field by a character char we can write tf dot set echo char and parameter is char next is text area Text area is similar to a text field but it can accommodate several lines of text. The user can type here as much as he want. When the text in the text area become larger than the viewable area, the scroll bar is automatically appears which help us to scroll the text up and down and right and left. Constructor to create a text area are text area TA equal new text area. This construct a new text area with the empty string as a text. Another constructor text area TA equal new text area with parameters row and column. Here we can construct a new text area with the specified number of rows and column and the empty string as text. And the third way text area TA equal new text area parameter is a string. In this we can construct a new text area with the specified text. And there are some of the methods are. If we want to retrieve the text from text area, we need to write string str equal ta dot text area. If we want to set the text to the text area, we can write ta dot set text parameter is text. If we want to append the given text to the text area's current text, then we need to write ta dot append and parameter is text. Whatever we want to append. Another one is to insert the specified text at the specified position in the text area then we need to write ta dot insert parameter text and position means whatever text we want to insert that text and where you want to insert we need to mention that position choice class choice control is used to show pop-up menu of choices it is a pop-up list of items and the user can select only one item from the availability items if we want to construct a choice menu the constructor is choice ch equal new choice and some of the methods of choice class are if you want to add an item to this choice menu we need to write ch dot add item if we want to know the name of the item selected from the choice menu we need to write string s equal ch dot get selected item if we want to know the number of items in the choice menu we can write int n equal ch dot get item count if we want to remove an item from the choice menu at a specified position. We need to write ch dot remove init position method. And uh, one more method. If we want to remove all items from the choice menu, we can write ch dot remove all method. So this is all about the choice class. Next is list class. List class represents a list of text items. The list can be configured to that user can choose either one item or multiple items. Constructor for list class are to create a new scrolling list we can write list ls equal new list. If we want to create a new scrolling list initialized with the specified number of visible lines then we can write list ls equal new list and we need to mention parameters how many rows.
Another constructor is if we want to create a new scrolling list initialized to display the specified number of rows, we need to write list ls equal new list and parameters are row and multiple mode. We need to mention rows and multiple modes. And this is all about constructor and some of the methods are for this class are if we want to add the specified item to the end of the scrolling list, we need to write void add and parameter is string item. If we want to get the number of items in the list, we need to write int get item count. If we want to get the number of visible lines in this list, we need to mention int get rows. If we want to get the selected items on this scrolling list, we need to write string get selected item. Another class is scroll bar class. Scroll bar control represents a scroll bar component in order to enable user to select from range of values that can be attached to a frame or text area. Constructors for this class are if you want to construct a new vertical scroll bar, we need to write scroll bar as be equal new scroll bar. If we want to construct a new scroll bar with the specified orientation, we need to write scroll bar sb equal new scroll bar parameter is orientation construct a new scroll bar with the specified orientation initial value visible amount and minimum and maximum values we need to write as scroll bar sb equal new scroll bar and parameter we need to pass orientation value visible minimum and maximum values here orientation will be horizontal or vertical values starting value Visible represent scroll bar length and minimum and maximum values. Then some of the methods for this are to if you want to know the location of a scroll bar, we need to write sb dot get value. If we want to get the maximum values of the scroll bar, we need to write get maximum for minimum value of a scroll bar. We need to write sb dot get minimum and to get the orientation of the scroll bar, we need to write int get orientation. And the last one is key listener interface. Key listener interface will help to know which key is pressed on the keyboard. This interface has the following methods. If we want to invoke when a key has been pressed, then we need to write void key press and parameter we need to pass key event E. If we want to invoke when a key has been released, void key release key event. If invoke when a key has been typed, then we need to write void key type parameter key event. So this is all about AWT. Thank you for watching my video. Please keep watching my more videos to learn Java in an easy way. You can send me an email for any query to my email id. Go for elearning at gmail.com. Thank you.